Are you oh, going yeah. to you going to AX April? You are, right? Yeah, man, I'll be there, bro. Hell yeah, I'll see you there. But I can't wait. Dude, yeah, this is last time I as well. Wait, man. Yeah, dude. Fuck yes. I'm excited. When, when are you, you're coming to America for a little bit, or? Yeah, yeah, we're coming for a bit before. Oh, I'll, I'll message yeah, you. I'll message you. Yeah, man. Hopefully, we'll have our place set up by then. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Vein Gang RL, dude. <laughs> is there what is there like uh, something that you really want to do in the U.S.? Is this your first time, by the way? No, I've been in the U.S. like ten times. Ten like that. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, quite wow. a lot. I've been I've been in the U.S. quite a lot. Uh, is there something that you miss from the U.S. or like something that you really want to do while you're here? I oh man. I don't know, just talking list to someone at a store. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that, man. That's you know what exactly I mean? What I don't know. Yeah. I just yeah. miss it. Bro, same. That was like the hardest thing about Japan. It's, it's not that like I can't communicate to them and tell them what I want. It's just, it's just like sometimes you just want it to be in English, you know? Yeah. Just like that nice small talk, you know, when you're out and about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like food? Food's really fucking good in LA. Yeah, yeah, you can get anything, honestly. It's so good. You can get anything you want. Do you have like a favorite American food or like shit that you can only get here? <sighs> Snack wise, flaming hot Cheetos for sure. Um, mm. Food, food wise, I fucking love In and Out a lot. I like, uh, huh? hell yeah. Mexican food, but I know you can get probably better Mexican food in Mexico, but still, Mexican food in LA is like really fucking good. Dude, Mexican food in LA is, is fire. It's so yeah. fucking good. I fucking love Mexican yeah. food so much. LA might be like one of the best places to get actual Mexican food. But LA is one of the best places to get any food. It's all really good. You know, like, yeah. I, I, I do prefer Japanese sushi, but sometimes I just want that fucking deep thry, fried roll, you know? Oh my god, yeah, Whoa. with the crunchy stuff on it. Like, That's with so With the good. king crab deep fried. That, like, oh. I, I love sushi, yeah. but like, sometimes I just want that, that motherfucker deep fried with crab. Dude. I kind of no. like it more than the like classy. Honestly, I get it. I get it. It's like stuff. it's it's like totally different in my mind. The way I eat yeah. that sushi is like completely different to what I, when I would eat like proper Japanese sushi. Yeah. It's good though. I think it's. I don't know. I like it more. Oh, I prefer it so much more. Like yeah. Japanese sushi is good. It's it's really good, but one of them bro. kills your cholesterol though. But that's a hedge. Yeah. That's a hedge fake. Yeah. Oh man, there's a really nice place in Los Angeles. Really? Fuck, take me, take me, dude. I want to go. Dude, it's... Okay. So, oh my god, it's so nice. Peanut butter and sandwich. <laughs> I, I, I want to, but like just one time, just so I can have done it. What was what was the one that we had where it was like the like the lemon wedge on top that you could like eat what? the entire lemon wedge? Yeah, it was like this spicy salmon roll and they like cut up like a piece of lemon or something on top. And it was like this spicy, citrusy, like crunchy. It was, it was It was like, yeah, spicy salmon with lemon on top and the lemon oh just like God. melded with it so perfectly. It was so good, dude. Huh. Is, is Indian like food popular food. in LA? You know, I've never had Indian food here in LA. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I never saw any when I was there. That was one thing I noticed about America is that like, there's like no Indian food places. It's definitely big. It, dude, it's huge in Japan, Indian food. Yeah, there's a lot. And in the UK, I'm assuming. You, uh, yeah, well, the most popular oh, yeah. dish in the UK is curry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like naan bread? Fucking, I, I would trade my firstborn for naan bread. Yeah, it's good. Respect, man. It's so good. I love naan bread so much, man. Yeah. I finally found, like, a really, really good place in Japan that does, like, really good... Indian food and it's like the best thing. It's so fucking good. Ooh. You just can't walk after it. That's the problem. Oh, it's so dense, dude. There is this <laughs> Nepalese place run by a bunch of uh, guys from uh, Nepal. Yeah. And dude, they would bring out. This was in Japan, by the way. Yeah. And they would bring out a mountain of like cheesy naan bread. Oh, they and... love that here. They fucking love cheese naan here, dude. Dude. 
I, I like cheese is okay, but I don't necessarily enjoy eating it that much. But they would bring it out every single time I would ask for non bread, and I would be like, tell them specifically, I was like, hey guys, you don't need to do like the mountain of non cheesy non bread this time. <laughs> and five minutes later, dude, they just bring, hey, look. <laughs> and it's just a no, mountain. I'm, 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 I'm garlic non, dude. Like, I'm a garlic non, dude. Yeah, garlic non. So good. Oh. oh my god. They would, oh. but I think most of the Indi Indian uh, food places are run by uh, uh, Nepalese people, like, actually, in Japan. Mm -hmm. You see loads of them that are run yeah. by uh, Nepalese people. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, in like my whole prefecture, the, all of the Indian places that I went to were all run by people from Nepal. And I think actually a lot of the ones in the UK are run by Bangladeshi people, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? I think so. So it's like, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Especially that's like in the why. US, right? When sometimes in like some really small towns, you get the, the Japanese food place run by Chinese people. Oh yeah, that's like pretty much every place, dude. Yeah. That's, yeah. I wonder why Indian food is so popular in Japan. Like, I think, I <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Party? Yeah. I guess it's like a similar palette to some of the stuff that they eat. I think so. I think Japanese curry is so boring though. Compared to like Indian. Ooh, I, I like it, I like it, but the yeah. fact that there's only like one flavor, it's like, bruh, come on. It's more, I... it's like, it's all right. It's just like kind of a stew and it's not very spicy. Mm. Yeah. You have to get it, you have to get like a really spicy one to ever make it spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes it gets to the level where it's just spice. Like, yeah, yeah I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like too much <laughs> spice. There's never like a good spice in Japan, you know, yeah. like you'll get some if you go to any Mexican place here in LA You'll get like some some Mexican food and it's like that perfect spice where it tingles a little bit But there's so much flavor in Japan. It's like all or nothing. It's like super sweet true. or just insane spice No that's flavor. True. That's true. Well, how about you man? What, I always forget what time it, what, it bro, is You lived here. I know you already you already forgot us dude. You already forgot wow, everything. Five. 5 p.m. dude, I'd just be getting off work right now. Yeah? <laughs> uh, <sighs> work that bad? Uh, yeah, it sucked ass. <laughs> I hated right. it, dude. This this is like my favorite time of day. Really? 4 45, just What did you do work. after work? Just I would just go to my house, eat something, go to the gym, and then like for like the last year I would like stream and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I'd work out. Makes sense. I don't miss it, dude. I, I miss being in Japan and just like the scenery, but yeah, work, working there, like, no way, dude. Oh man, did you have to like give up your visa as well? Yeah, I gave up my working visa. Oh yeah. shit, that's sad. I mean, I guess you have to if you're not working here, right? Yeah, I had it until like the end of summer this year. Yeah, it was gonna be my last year, but I left early. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so I, I gave it up, but I don't know, man. Five years was plenty. Five years is a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what are you going on? Are you like two or three right now? Uh, in October it'll be it'll be three. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. That's good though. I think uh, doing YouTube here is pretty chill. I mean, I feel like you get a oh, lot of the yeah, benefits sure. without a lot of the downsides. There's still some downsides, obviously, but I mean, it's, it's pretty chill. Yeah, you're not you're not in like a corporate setting or like a... no, no. Like I, I don't have like benchmarks or shit i need to hit no no you don't it's gotta fucking wear a, a shirt and tie dude yeah if fuck you have that. a job in japan and you have to wear a shirt and tie it's gonna be bad yeah 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 no basically what, basically dude. you gotta wear a shirt and tie in summer <clears throat> when it's like <clears throat> nine billion degrees outside you're gonna hate your fucking life dude there were times you know in japan they're really strict about using energy and like ac and shit so there were times i would get into the morning meeting at 8 30 and it is already like 95 with like 115 percent humidity rocked up in a full fucking suit oh. and they wait until after the meeting to turn on the ac so you're just sitting there melting into your like white shirt that you're just yeah. sweating through and did you're you, just getting pounded with the sound of cicadas like in the background the whole time just mocking you did you uh travel much in, in japan yeah i went i went like as north as tokyo i never went any more north oh than that, wow you went to Hokkaido? no oh, dude. south of tokyo i've pretty much been to uh okay 
Yeah, because like you know the like Shinkansen's in the in the winter when they put the, the heating on like Gigamax. Oh my god, yes, dude. <laughs> it's like it'll be like it'll be like minus one outside, and on the train they'll put it like thirty Celsius or like I don't know, like a hundred. It's insane. It's they put it to like summer heat. I, I I don't know what's hotter, Japanese winter or Japanese summer. <laughs> the, the cinemas, the theaters do it too. They put the they put because obviously there's a lot of old people, right? So they crank yeah, exactly. the heat to like as high as it'll go. It's it's it. Yeah. You you'll get on the train with your winter coat and stuff, and you literally have to strip down to your t-shirt to be even like, and even then you'll be too hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's it's so oh, fucked. Yeah, going like in and out of places like restaurants oh, and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta keep god, taking your dude. stuff on and off because it's just so fucking hot just, and then cold inside. So I went out to eat with my friends and like we walked around this mall shopping. Freezing in summer, right? Lunch. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. And by the time we get to like our lunch place, I'm sitting there with a the turtleneck on and I'm just like dripping sweat <laughs> into my food. Like it was so bad. Oh shit. But you know what, dude? Like the spring and the fall do make up for it. True, I will true, say. true, true. Like that that time in Japan, there's nothing that beats like fall. True, I agree. It's good. It's good. Wait, Nyan, have you ever been to Japan? No, I've never even been oh, to Japan. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh man, I assume you guys are gonna go to Japan then when uh, it opens up. Hell yeah! yeah. Someday. Okay. It's definitely worth. I mean, like at least once in your life, I feel like. The, the Japanese government were just kind of like, hey, we're going to open up, maybe, kind of. And then a lot of people kind of uh, bought tickets, I think, and messaged me. Like, I'm coming in next month. And I'm like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't think it's open. <laughs> Japanese government said they're going to open up and then let certain tourist groups in. Like, what does that even mean? Oh. Who get? What's a tourist group? What is that? Yeah, what the fuck would that be? Maybe it's yeah. probably st stuff like through their, their official like travel uh, agencies yeah. or something. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but yeah, you got a work visa though, chat. So it's different. If you get a work visa, you can come in. But on a tourist visa, you can't come in right now. It's pretty weird. Yeah, yeah. If you get a visa, like there were teachers that were getting into Japan when I was still there. Yeah, yeah. They, they you, had... you were able to get here since like, um, if you had a visa like three, four months ago, um, five months ago maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like right when I left. Yeah. So I don't know how the fuck you get it now. It's a mystery to me. Classic Japanese government not really letting you know what the fuck is happening. Oh, yeah, man. oh goodness it's insane yeah it is kind of nice like not having to deal with the bureaucracy of like yeah, everything. no kidding just so you don't even think about like you buy a bicycle oh guess what you gotta you gotta register that with the police like what yeah what? yeah yeah oh yeah that reminds me of the thing i went through with my my dentist who's japanese oh yeah oh really what happened well, I didn't know... I didn't know that this is a thing that Japanese dentists do, but my dentist, like, made me jump through hoops to just get a cleaning appointment. Like, I had to do three separate appointments. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. The second appointment was literally just, like, I came in the office, I had to get up there, like, fucking butt crack early in the morning. What the fuck? For a 10-minute meeting with the dentist guy. I've... To talk about what what he's going to do with my teeth over the course of a year or whatever and yeah. i was just like oh cool and what the fuck? yeah i had to do like three appointments before they would actually clean my teeth what the fuck yeah. i've i've heard japanese like dentistry is notoriously bad oh dude it, it it literally the exact same thing happened to me it was three visits to get my teeth cleaned i i go what? to an american dentist oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there's like there's ones that advertise they're like hey do you not like japanese dent uh, dental practice you can you can just go to an american they like there'll, there'll be japanese people that learned in america to teach it like to clean it then do it all the stuff the american way which oh beautiful yeah, yeah i know so yeah yeah the american way is just get in there and blast it all off yeah, and dude. Get the hell out. america's so fucking good i wish i had that shit. <laughs> i went in there i they gave me a mercury filling in the uk back when i was in like 2000 shit, it was a dude. mercury filling right so this shit was black as fuck. and then like, whenever i opened my mouth and like videos right people were like bro clean your dirty ass teeth it's like pitch black oh my oh, god no. so i went into the dentist and she was like hey uh i'm i'm just pay me and i'll get rid of that and i'll, I'll replace it with like a good one and I was like, oh, oh, all right. And then she was yeah. like, all right, let's do it right now. We literally, so we, on the spot, she was like, let's just do it. And I was like, all right, cool. 
Jesus, dude. They got it like done and it was like super cheap. Thermometer. My mercury. That's what they used to use. Isn't it toxic? Yeah, but the way they used to use it wasn't. You can look it up. It was a, it was common practice when I was a kid. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why of all materials they were like mercury. Is that the one where it, like it hurts if you chew on aluminum foil? Like that kind of feeling? Is that mercury? Oh, yeah. uh, maybe. I don't know. Dude, I definitely had that as a kid. What mercury? I had like there, there's one feeling where if you have it and then you chew on aluminum foil, it hurts like a motherfucker. I don't oh. know if it's mercury or not. I don't what? I've never heard of this in my life. Oh yeah, it's it's the most unnerving pain ever. Yes, it hurts when you chew on foil. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. It stings. It's lead. I wonder, oh, I don't know. Wait, why are you chewing on foil? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't even know how that comes. Came out. Like, like, what like happened? <laughs> when you were chewing on foil? Guess, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, like, when they figure out like certain shits poisonous, and you're like, why? Why did? How do you figure that out? <laughs> I guess you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You're a kid. You'll freaking bite anything. Uh, aluminium flavored gum, maybe? Yeah, it was one of those things where it's like your friends will say like, oh, dude, if you bite on aluminum foil with a filling, it'll hurt like a bitch. You were like bat. Pussy. You were like bat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Yeah, it was, it's a really weird feeling. Yeah, man, I, I I did not enjoy my time like going to the dentist in Japan because they like uh you have to take off work to go to the dentist. Oh like, yeah, they're they're they don't open, open after like five, work. right? And you don't get like oh like special leave to go to the dentist. Like you have to use a vacation day to go to the dentist three <laughs> it's fucking so fun. times. And like, if, let's be real, dude. If I'm gonna take off one hour of work, I'm gonna take off the whole day, so. Yeah, 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 of course. I can't go back into work after a dentist. Jesus. What about, uh, you ever go to the doctor much here? Yeah, I had to go to a clinic because my one British friend thought that he had some sort of STD and he didn't speak any, like, any Just Japanese. wanna clarify, that's not me. I didn't live near Ethel before chat starts <laughs> lamowing and Pepe laughing. He was British. That's all I can say, man. All right. Okay. They already fucking laughing, dude. Uh, but yeah, dude, he went to this, like, it was something like a soap land in like a neighboring oh town. Oh my God. No. And had I thought they didn't let foreigners in. He went with his coworker. Oh, okay. And kind of gave him like, hey, like this guy's, uh, this guy's cool. Like let him in, that kind of thing. And I think that's how he got in there. <laughs> oh my God. And he, I don't know, you know what happens at a soap yeah, 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 whatever I know, the hell. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> um, and so he started peeing like really weird and really goofy and uh, like pussy piss. Ew. And, like, Ew. He was like, dude, he was like, man, I think I should probably go to the doctor, but you know, I don't really know how to say any of this. <laughs> so I, I had to take him to this, this clinic and say like, you know, like his penis is itchy and like his pee is electrifying but i forgot like the medical word for penis like yeah so you I, just said I, oh chin chin i said oh chin chin <laughs> oh, oh, chin -chin that's like being like yo this man's oh, cock is raw in the dent <laughs> the dent <laughs> no, no chin <laughs> uh hi <laughs> he's like yo what the fuck is this man both of them both of them came in together so he could tell me his dick yeah dude it's like two incapable boys trying to talk about their itchy dicks <laughs> their itchy little wieners yeah Every it's like going to an american doctor and saying oh my wiener is itchy <laughs> <laughs> every every uh doctor that's advertised in english here i've been to literally oh, like really? speaks no fucking english yeah it's it's yeah, so it's bizarre tough, i'll go and then the guy will, i'll be like oh this is the english doctor i talked to him and he'll be like he doesn't know what like the word throat is in english and i'll be like i'm fucked oh no i would think like in your area like because you're by tokyo right yeah, yeah, yeah. surprisingly it's kind of hard no joke what 
Damn. Do you, is the level of English in Tokyo like how is it these days? I mean, I think it's I think it's just the same. I, it's like sometimes you'll meet someone who doesn't know any, and other times you'll meet someone who's like weirdly fluent. It, yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's, uh, it's kind of just you don't know. You just kind of talk to people. It's not that yeah. good. I mean, it's still pretty bad. Yeah, same. In my area, it was it was pretty bad too. You were in Fukuoka, right? Yeah, I was I was a little outside Fukuoka. God damn. That's Dude, yeah, that's uh, really nice. Yeah, I went there recently. It was really fucking oh, really? nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after you left. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. It's such a nice city because it's not too crazy, but it's yeah. still like kind of nuts in some areas. I had um, where was it? And not exactly Fukuoka. I went to uh, it's like the best ramen I've ever had in Japan, was in uh, Kitakyushu. Dude, Kitakyushu, you know that's where the like uh, big yakuza area yeah. is. Right, right, Kitakyushu's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of full of criminals, man. There'd be a lot of. Oh, the ramen was so good from... though. Yeah, it was insane, and like you know it was good because this place was like barely like the 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 restaurant was l the biggest piece of shit looking thing. That's how you know. That's how you know. Wait, did my stream die? Hmm? Hold on. Oh. Uh. It died? No, it's good. What happened? I think it's all right. Oh, it stopped recording. Weird. Okay. Um, it like it looked really, really rough, and the building looked like it was about to like fall. And yeah. But the reviews were like four point six, which is like insane in Japan. Over like five hundred reviews. And uh, we got there and the line was like out the door. Like it was like, that, it was yeah. huge. And, and we went in. Oh, fuck, dude. That was so fucking good. I was like, oh, shit. I'll send you the pic. Oh, That's shit. how you know a place is good, man. Like it just looks like a piece of shit, but there's always a line. At, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hours. That's literally how you can tell every single time in Japan. Have you ever had champon before? What is that? Champon is like, I think it started in Nagasaki. It's, it's like a noodle dish. And it's usually seafood based. Um, it's like a mix between like udon and like ramen. Oh, that sounds pretty fucking good. It's so fucking good. But there is this udon or a uh, champon place by me. Same exact thing. Like absolute dog shit on the inside. So fucking old and steamy and gross. But I would go with my coworker like during lunch and just the longest line, like 30, 40 minutes every day. Okay, damn. It, I, I, I want to go. It just slaps. Oh. <laughs> Chat's like tampon? What's that? Oh, dude, that looks rich. Dude, it was so fucking good. I dream Wait, about what flavor that. did you get, man? Is that miso? It was spicy miso. Oh, fuck yeah, like them Their default was the spicy miso, which I'm like, that's how you know, like, holy shit, this gonna be yeah. good. Oh, dude. no, that egg in there looks good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. That's my favorite. You guys want to see you have it? Did you have I, tonkatsu? I fuck uh, tonkatsu is one of my favorites. Yeah, that bo that uh pork bone, I think it is. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tonkatsu, you mean? It's not katsu. Yeah. Katsu is the other one, right? Uh, kotsu is the thing. Yeah, kotsu, kotsu, cause like it's a, a bone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever the one in Fukuoka is. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you hey, returned. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm oh, back. Bye. Show you guys. Can it's I on my Twitter. Help? I posted it. 